welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a tie-dye experiment. Dyeing flats and pre-folds or whatever you have is kind of a cool thing to do and the other day I saw on Instagram Tara from Two Sparrows Diapers, which is a Canadian flat maker, ice dye her flats. But more specifically, she used snow. So I thought, hey, I got snow. I could do that. And I've always wanted to tie-dye flats. And I've never tie-dyed flats. So we are snow dyeing flats. I filmed a super awesome little introduction in my laundry room that I never pushed the record button on because that is my favorite thing to do. What I decided to do was I'm using a Aussie Cozy flat, I'm using a Bummies pre-fold, and I am using a Nuggles rectangle insert. Um, you can find lots of different tie-dye folds on the internet and I tied it all together with rope because I don't have elastic and you need to make sure that your pre-folds and flats are all wet first then we put it on a cookie sheet with a tray and I'm using Rit Dye powdered dye but you could probably use any powdered dye that you have there's not usually instructions on the package so I am following the ice dyeing instructions that I found on Rit's YouTube channel, which I'll link down below as well. So we've got our pre-folds, our flats all folded up, and we're using the all-purpose powder here. So what you do is you're gonna cover this with snow. I just went outside and I got some snow. Royal blue and fuchsia that my children helped me pick no. these up. No. And all you do is sprinkle it over top of the snow. I'm beginning to see why I did this in my laundry room. I wondered about if I could just do this outside, but you want the snow to melt. I feel like that's a lot of tie dye. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let this sit. We're gonna let it thaw. We're gonna let it make a big hot mess all over my laundry room. It's okay, it's already a disaster in here. And then we'll be back. <clears throat> Definitely be cautious about what colors you're using so that you don't get a brown or black icky mix. And when you sprinkle over the dye on the ice, think about the patterns that you wanna make. and. I didn't really think about that and I kind of felt like I mixed things up a little bit too much. Hi guys, so I got a little bit bored of waiting for this to finish. So I thought I would come and take the rest of the ice off, rinse them out and throw them in the wash. But then I accidentally dropped it and it fell in so I guess we're really done. They do look pretty cool. Make sure that you're wearing gloves because it is tie-dye and it is gonna dye. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse it until no more dye. I was a little bit worried that maybe the one side wouldn't get tie-dye just because of how the ice was melting but it's actually turned out really nice both sides that's the pre-fold all right two more to go wash my flats in cold water i am doing a vinegar soak this is to help set the colors there's probably a ton of other ways that you can do it but when i googled it this is what i had on hand it seemed easy so i soaked them in vinegar here it's about half vinegar half water and then i gave them another wash and I called it a day. All right, these came out really good. I really like the colors and I, it was just kind of, it was fun. And it wasn't too messy. Like I thought it would be really, really messy, but I actually no colored hands and I came out pretty well. The pre-fold, I've seen a lot of questions on other channels. Can you color pre-folds? Yes, you can. Look at my pre-fold. Isn't that fun? I do know that because you wash diapers on hot water, this is gonna fade over time. This is gonna fade really fast. That's just the life of it. But hey, they are just poop catchers. This was fun. 
And look how much color I have, people. Now I'm gonna use these on my white table to do all my fold videos, because then you can see the actual diaper. The knuckles insert also came out really cool. Actually, I like the other side better. I was a little bit worried while I was doing the ice that it wasn't gonna hit all the layers. It looked like there was a lot of white spots, but I think there is just enough white spot. I'm so happy I did this fold with the flat because I love it. All 100%, well actually this is 100% cotton. This is a bamboo cotton blend and this is a cotton blend. This was a really fun experiment, really fun little project if you're looking for a way to spruce up your cloth diaper stash. Being inside helped the snow. I mean, I got tons of it, but you could easily do this with ice if you live somewhere without snow. Uh, anything else I have to think? Um, check out Tara two check, check out Tara at Two Sparrows Diapers if you're looking for custom flats. I haven't tried them. I'm just shouting out a brand that I see being creative and innovative. If you've tried her flats, drop me a comment below. We'll see how they are. And a big thank you to her for this inspiration for this fun project. Woo! <laughs> Bye!